hourly <laughs> snowfall rates for the next storm coming in uh, Sunday evening and into Monday morning do look quite impressive for central Massachusetts, which is where we think the bulk of the snow will likely accumulate and also start too. that onset really helps get you going in terms of the snow. Look at the hourly snowfall rates Sunday at 11 o'clock in the morning between a half an inch to almost an inch or so per hour through, I would say, Sturbridge north into Lemonster, then through uh, or through Worcester and then Lemonster too. Once that lifts towards the north, what's happening is warmer air is coming in. So we'll actually see a decent amount of rainfall too through Sunday evening. I think it may be all rain across the south coast and the islands before cold air then wraps around. And this is quite interesting as well. You can almost make out the gate swing of this storm, how it pushes towards the north and east. It pivots. There's a hinge there and then it swings down and clears out. As that clears out, now we start to see the snowfall rates ramp up between an inch to maybe even two inches per hour here in Milford and New Hampshire. And then colder air still pushes in more and more and more now. We're at midnight Sunday night and into Monday morning before we see this change over into all snow. Three o'clock in the morning for the Boston Metro, the North Shore, Cape Ann, all the way down to Cape Cod too. And at this point, drier air is working its way into the storm. And that would pretty much shut this thing off at about midday, we think, on Monday. So snowfall amounts between Sunday morning and mon uh, Monday afternoon, an inch or so between Plymouth and Brockton, Bridgewater likely closer to one to three inches in accumulating snow to Natick and Framingham and Boston through Metro, uh, Metro West, Chestnut Hill and Beacon Hill, some three to five inches there. To the north, now we're five to eight plus. And the reason I put this plus is you just saw those two inch per hour snowfall rates. If that happened in one, two, three, four, five hours, now all of a sudden you're in that upper range of eight to maybe 10 inches, uh, 10 inches of snowfall here. And that's possible through south central portions of New Hampshire near New Ipswich between Londonderry and then just outside of Lowell. I think this will be a decent storm for our friends across the uh, Route 2 corridor and I-495 as well. Not enough to get us out of our snowfall deficit that we're in in Boston. Typically, we'd have about 20 inches of snowfall. We've only got about nine inches of snow so far this season. And part of the reason it's been so warm and look at the storm as it's coming into the Boston Metro nine in the morning on Sunday. Rain is what we'll likely have mixed in with some very, very wet flakes as sun sets Sunday and through Monday morning. There's a brief pause here. Remember that gate swing. It pushes north and then it pivots and turns and drops south. That drop south is what will sweep in the colder air as the storm sweeps in too. Again, not enough to make up the deficit so far since December the 1st in the city. We've had nearly nine inches of snow. Typically, we'd have about 20 inches of snowfall. I'm not saying winter is over just yet, but folks, the trend is not our friend when it comes to the remainder of the season, getting any substantial shots of colder air and prolonged cold air coming in. Tonight, we're at 36. That, too, is warmer than normal. In fact, our average high for a late January day is 38 degrees. So to be at 36 at the lowest point of the day gives us a boost to our highs on Saturday right around 40 degrees. We'll talk more about the rest of the 10 day coming up, but here's a quick glance at it. Sunday and Monday, those are the days to watch for rainfall and snow. We'll talk more about Saturday coming up in the next half hour. Not all hope is lost on the day, but I just don't want you to be surprised when there's a quick spurt of showers coming in on Saturday. On Monday, that's our first alert day for the storm coming in. Tuesday and Wednesday, there's a cool air, but look, it doesn't stick around. We're in the teens on Tuesday morning with a chance of single digit wind chills, but it's only for about a day to day and a half. By the start of February the 1st, we've got high temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s.